10 to 7 with COVID-19. A lot of folks are going to be doing their holiday shopping online. Scammers know it, and they are very good at tricking consumers with fake websites or fake emails. Our call for action director, Karen Stiles, is here with how to spot those fakes. There is no doubt that there's been an increase in online shopping, and this will continue into the holiday season. While some items might be in short supply, there will be no short supply of scams. Here are some of the more common ones and how you can avoid getting taken. Fake websites have become very popular this year. These sites appear on social media or as pop-ups promoting a unique or hard to find product at a great price. However, once you click, pay, and place your order, the order never arrives. When you try to go back to the site to get help, either the site has disappeared or you are faced with no response to your email request. These sites also do not have a phone number or a street address, leaving consumers with no way to get their money back. Scammers have also been sending very real looking but fake emails posing as well-known retailers like Amazon. The email states that there is a problem with your order, billing, or delivery instructions, and you are told to click on a link to resolve things. However, when you click on the link, you may be tricked into providing personal information like a credit card number or be at risk for a hack. To avoid getting taken, check out websites and products before clicking on links in social media or placing an order. Make sure that the company has a street address and phone number and only pay with a credit card. If you get an email telling you that there is an issue with your order, do not click on the link. Go to a site that you know is legitimate. Click on your account or the customer support page and ask questions. If you're unsure if a site or email is legitimate or you believe that you might have fallen victim to a scam, contact state and federal consumer agencies and alert our call for action office. Your information could help others from being scammed in the future. For TMJ4 News, call for action. I'm Karen Stiles. 653, running into a consumer problem and unsure where to go for help. Our call for action office is ready to help. You can contact them using the information there on your screen.